The following is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. Tingle. Whoa. Today, we are having a look at some zombies. Rawr. Rawr. Grawr. But these aren't scary zombies. These are Dollar Tree zombies. Are they worth a dollar? Probably. Maybe not to me, but maybe to you. This one has three minifigures. This one has one minifigure and some slime. Do kids like slime now? I don't know. I often encountered real slime as a boy having adventures, and I can't say I ever enjoyed it. But I was kind of a weird kid, if you can believe that. I guess I thought maybe I could use them for the show somehow. I still like toys. I just play differently now, I guess. Kind of. Not really. Mostly, I needed a quick episode for my self-imposed deadline, and there they were while I was out and about grabbing supplies. Dollar Tree has these great veggie egg rolls that we like. Let's unwrap these. Hopefully, we can appreciate them and make fun of them at the same time. I would like to take a quick moment to thank my new subscribers and welcome them. I hope everyone will stick around for more and more show and tell, strange entertainment, and witness the evolution of the show. The place is a mess right now, under construction if you will. Includes one fighter and two zombies. Cool. For one dollar. It's a Ziploc baggie, so hanging on to it is optional. I guess I'll play nice for now. Normally I don't keep packaging, but... Hmm... It's helpful to cut far enough down. They placed a notch on the side just for people like me. I guess it's important to lock these zombies up tight so they can't escape in the store and eat people. That'd be funny though. Stickers! Those go on the shirts. I'm kind of impressed, to be honest. I know these are Lego ripoffs, but this is a good deal for a buck if you ask me. Instructional diagram. I often scan the instructions, but it's just one picture. The opposite side is blank. I definitely recommend the three pack over the one guy with slime. This sure is a lot of excess packaging. Let's take a moment to admire the... Just kidding. Instead, Let's cut open a bag of slime. Includes one zombie and slime. It feels all cold and squishy. 
Don't say that's what she said. It looks like the slime is just in here. I know it's probably non-toxic for legal reasons, but I wonder how many kids have slurped down an entire bag of this stuff. Gross. Oh man, it smells so bad. Ugh, like sewage. I'm kidding. It's odorless. Eww. Yuck. I've been slimed. Let's see that again. up this mess and be right back. Okay, first up, construction zombie. He has a hard hat and a wrench accessory. Why would a zombie have a wrench, you ask? Honestly, it depends upon the fiction. The rules are never clear, not initially, anyway. For example, when The Walking Dead began, if you watch closely in the first few episodes, particularly in Atlanta, the zombies, walkers, whatever, can be seen using simple weapons like pipes and bats, clubs. They were a lot faster then, too. In other movies, they've been super fast. Sometimes they even talk. You never know. Anyhow, these guys have accessories. I think the smile makes him more menacing. He looks psycho. Meant to tone him down for kids, I suppose. The quality isn't top, but it's not bad. More like a model than a toy model car plastic. The back of the legs are weird. These are fine for display or gentle kids, but too fragile for being played with by most. He stands up fine. He's articulated, but will break if care isn't taken. A blurry image of his bibs. I offer a few good photos at the end. The fighter Total douchebag. A more traditional zombie. Pretty okay. I call him Ice Cream Head. Shovel accessory. A factory error in my favor granted me an extra shovel. The Slime Bag Zombie. Night at the Roxbury? Another factory error. His accessory is an extra crotch piece. Lame. These are bizarre little curios that I don't really care about and won't be keeping. But I think they were worthy of a short video. I had fun making it, and I hope you enjoyed it too. Thanks for watching. Check out my channel. What's your favorite zombie movie? Comment below. Click the buttons. Is he Saturday Night Fever? Um, well, uh, bye for now.